We're given two points, so we can start by finding the slope. I'm going to label this point x1, y1, and this point x2, y2. For y2, I plug in 5. For y1, I plug in negative 1. And for x2, I plug in negative 2. And finally, for x1, we plug in 3. 5 plus 1 makes 6, and negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So we have negative 6 fifths as our slope. Now that we have the slope, we can use our slope formula again and fix one of the points to be x and y. These two variables will appear in our equation. We can plug in negative 6 fifths in for the slope, and then we can use our other point, 3 and negative 1, for x1 and y1. That's this point here. Simplifying the y minus negative 1, I get y plus 1. Now that we're here, we want to find an equation in slope-intercept form. So we want to solve this equation for y. I can multiply both sides by 5 times x minus 3. We do this since 5 times x minus 3 is the common denominator for these two fractions. Notice that we just have factors that appear in the numerator and also in the denominators. This x minus 3 is just one factor. We use these factors to help us simplify. We know 5 divided by 5 makes 1, and x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 also makes 1. So we have x minus 3 times negative 6 equals y plus 1 times 5. We could have gotten to this step just by cross multiplying. Negative 6 times x minus 3 on the left, and 5 times y plus 1 on the right. Pretty cool. I distribute the negative 6 to the x and the negative 3, and I distribute the 5 to the y and the positive 1. Our goal here is to get y by itself, so let's isolate this 5y term. We can subtract 5 from both sides to get negative 6x plus 13 equals 5 times y, and then we divide both sides of our equation by 5. So I have negative 6 fifths times x on the left, plus 13 fifths equals 1y. It's probably best to continue solving down the page, I just wanted to show our work all in one place. I can rewrite this fraction as negative 6 fifths times x. We know multiplication and division have the same priority in the order of operations. I could do multiplication and then the division, or I could do division and then the multiplication. These two are exactly the same. Finally, we can just flip our equation around to get our answer in slope-intercept form. We can check one part of our answer. We calculated the slope to be negative 6 fifths earlier in our problem. Well, sure enough, we get negative 6 fifths in our answer. We know that this part of the problem should be correct, so long as our calculation from above was correct.